fundamental sensations that, that determine movement are as aesthetic and ethical. So if I'm an artist, I, I always imagine I'm always ethical. And I don't do any phony stuff. Not to my knowledge, of course, I have to do some symbolism, which isn't quite in tune with any concrete reality. But then I'm still ethical in, in the sense, it's the best I can do, but I'm always aesthetic. At first, I must admit, I, I, I was amazed at how prolific and how dedicated he was to his art. And that a man of his age could be so active. At first glance, his art seemed crude rough, unrefined. But as I got closer, something became apparent. I started to imagine these images of molten rock taking form that keep shaping our world today. I'm looking at some trees at this moment, and there's an inescapable feeling that these expressions, these natural formations, are indeed uh, conditioned by an aesthetic force uh, way beyond our, our uh, capabilities to measure it in any way. It simply is it's a marvelous, uh, uh, symphony of, of engineering. symphony of, of lines. Engineering, really. So, are we getting somewhere? Yeah, we are. It's, it's a little bit like that, uh, differences and echoes. Um, what, what we are made of, the material that we are made of, is closer to being an echo than, the, than a source. But the source can never be quite a gra a grasped. You can't grasp it in a material sense. never seen that circle as, as infected by rust, you know. Aluminum is now effect, affected by rust. I've never seen it that rusty before. You see, I haven't looked at it for a while. So, uh, yes, there is a, a, a compound, probably in some cases, an unknown material uh, uh, composition, because they are indeed realities that don't necessarily come in in contact through natural 
process. So being forced to interact gives this strange feeling of difference. Exactly what I'm talking about, difference as essence, because it, it really means we, we, it, it's a zone where, where you can't tell which is copper or which is iron. It just, it, it's just, it, it's almost you can't tell whether some, somebody is, is, is a female or a male. It, it, it's almost like a, 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 a combination of two natures. I'm holding a piece of paper that contains uh, words that are inspired by my uh, studies of Stonehenge in England. It's not a method behind them. It's more like a, a rhythmic force. Uh, it's more like a, a musical symbolism rather than a, an authentic poem. Uh, this particular one I, I call a meaning. Uh, it starts like this. Uh, Conceptions of man synthesized in active structures of cosmic rhythm. Unadulterated formative forces expanding the vistas of emotional discourse. Convictions transformed into actions, attitudes and inward visions hewn in harmonic forms and spaces, conceived in the circular expanse of barren horizons, rebelling against random nature, symbol of cohesion, heralded stone's mark of its epoch, bearing meanings extracted from life, affirming implicit spiritual liberation in sky-oriented forms of living faith. This, whether it goes I'm improvising now. I, it's not made for this size. Well, this might work. Looks like it. I'm just I'm just estimating the balance. Sometimes I'm lucky, uh, most of the times I'm lucky. <laughs> so, more bolts, tighten it, and it's ready for suspension. Okay. It's more like a, a, an origin, uh, more like something that comes into being and, and begins to uh, uh, begins to uh, lead its uh, its life. It's the opposite of Murphy's law. If something can go right, it will go right. It's fundamentally joy. It's fundamentally uh, related to dance and music. Uh, it's, it's fundamentally related to, to movement and. It's, really more in the nature of, of joy than um, any other energy that really uh, finds its meaning in it. So even the wind will increase its meaning. You, of course, apply a superimposed meaning, but nature itself will, will have a dialogue and, and, and do something 
that's absolutely incredible. In the domain of art, you work totally without doubt. You simply, you have the word to be in, in really in your, in your command. That's what it is. to express yourself in this way. So if you don't express yourself in this way, you have cheated on your, on your, on your own existence.